In this lecture, we are going to discuss the constituents of the extracellular and intracellular fluids. In our previous lectures, we discussed the intracellular and extracellular fluids and we discussed that in the human body there are different compartments of intracellular fluids and the extracellular fluid and as a whole there is around 42 liters of fluid or water in the body. Now in these fluids, in the intracellular fluid and in the extracellular fluid there are different constituents in different concentrations. In the extracellular fluid there are different concentrations of different substances and the same substances or the same ions in the intracellular fluid are in different concentration. And in our this lecture, we are just going to superficially discuss those substances in slight differences. Now, we have two diagrams. This one is basically showing the ions, the cations and the anions in the extracellular fluid and the intracellular fluid. This basically this diagram is showing the known electrolytes of the plasma. These are the ions or the electrolytes. These are the known electrolyte substances in the plasma. Now, to talk about the electrolytes, there are of two types. The positive ions are the cations, the negative are the anions. Some of the cations are higher in concentration in the extracellular fluid outside the cell. These are the outside the cell. And similarly, some of the cations are more in concentration inside the cell or intracellular fluid. Now, similarly, the anions, some of the anions are in higher concentration in the extracellular fluid while some of the negative ions or the anions are higher in concentration in the intracellular fluid. Now we will also discuss that the concentration in the extracellular fluid is then again very di much different in some substances in the interstitial fluid and in the plasma because we discussed in our last lecture that the extracellular fluid basically is, com basically, uh, is composed of plasma and in the interstitial fluid while the intracellular fluid is basically present inside the cell. Now let's discuss each and everything in detail. First of all, we will talk about sodium and potassium. Now, the concentration of the sodium, concentration of sodium outside the cell in the extracellular fluid is higher. It is higher. It is around 142 milliosmol or milli equivalent. But the concentration of the sodium inside the inside the cell or the concentration of sodium in the intracellular fluid is very much less. So sodium is present in higher concentration in the extracellular fluid and it is present in lower concentration in the intracellular fluid. Now, if we divide it further, we, if we divide it further, we will see that the concentration of sodium in the extracellular fluid, the concentration of sodium in the extracellular fluid, it is 142, it is 142 milliosmol per liter of water or milli equivalent in the plasma. It is 142 in the plasma and it is 139 in the interstitial fluid. Although both, although both the plasma and the interstitial fluid constitute the extracellular fluid, but even in this extracellular fluid, some of the substances have different concentrations. Now sodium is just one example and sodium is a cation. Now through this example, we are not going to discuss each and every ion, but just to understand that the extracellular fluid has two further compartments plasma and the interstitial fluid and some of the electrolytes and some of the known electrolytes even they have different concentrations slightly although very slightly but they have slightly different concentration in the plasma and the interstitial fluid but for practical purposes we will just take one figure we will just take one figure we will not be taking two readings for practical clinical purposes only one value is taken but just for the sake of understanding it is important to know now why there is differences in these concentration that is something we will discuss in the um, uh, well, as we uh, proceed now the second thing is we talk is the potassium now potassium also is a positive ion or a cation but its concentration inside the cell is very much high its concentration inside the cell is very high in the intracellular fluid as sodium was higher in concentration in the extracellular fluid potassium is higher in concentration in the intracellular fluid and both are cations now if we see magnesium, magnesium or magnesium is higher in concentration, its total amount is very much small as compared to the amount of potassium. Its amount in the intracellular fluid is small as compared to potassium but it is quite more in concentration inside the cell and outside the cell in the extracellular fluid its concentration is almost zero. Then if we talk about calcium, there is no calcium present in the intracellular fluid concentration of the calcium in, in the intracellular fluid is almost zero but a small amount of calcium is present in the extracellular fluid. Then if we talk about the neg negative ions or the anions we see that the concentration of phosphate and other organic acids 
in proteins is higher in concentration in the intracellular fluid and it is smaller in concentration very small in concentration for example this much as compared to this much so it's in the protein concentration in the intracellular fluid is higher but the protein concentration in the extracellular fluid is very small now even if we in the extracellular fluid if we specifically talk about the proteins we see that its concentration in the plasma is high its concentration in the plasma is high but its concentration in the interstitial fluid is very low and then if we see the concentration in the intracellular fluid the concentration in the intracellular fluid of proteins is so many times higher than its concentration in the extracellular fluid so proteins are very much high in concentration in the intracellular fluid they are very much low in concentration in the extracellular fluid but even in this extracellular fluid the the concentration of proteins is higher in plasma and it is very much low in the interstitial fluid now due to this differences due to this differences the proteins are basically negative the protein have the got negative charge as we have uh, marked them in anions due to the negative ions or uh, negative charge on proteins the positive the positive ions are attracted more towards towards protein and the concentration of proteins is higher in plasma the concentration of protein is higher in plasma as compared to the interst interstitial fluid now both of them the plasma and the interstitial fluid they constitute the extracellular fluid but it is higher in plasma as compared to interstitial fluid because the proteins in the plasma cannot come out of the capillary pores the protein in the plasma cannot come out of the capillary pore so it cannot easily come into the interstitial fluid so more proteins remains in the plasma as compared to the interstitial fluid although the amount of protein in the intracellular fluid is quite high it is a different story but the proteins as a whole if we talk about in the extracellular fluid their concentration in the plasma is higher than their concentration in the interstitial fluid they are negatively charged so they attract more positive substances more positive charged ions in the plasma and they repel the negative charged ion into the interstitial fluid so if we specifically talk about the extracellular fluid we see that due to the negative charge of proteins due to the negative charge of proteins cations are higher in concentration in plasma positive ions are higher in concentration in plasma in the in the extracellular fluid and negative ions or anions are higher in concentration in the interstitial fluid because the proteins are negatively charged they attract the positive charges into the plasma and they repel the negative charges into the interstitial fluid but both of these are basically components of the extracellular fluid now these are basically if you then see the chloride is higher in the extracellular fluid and lower in the intracellular fluid bicarbonate is slightly a small amount of bicarbonate is present in the intracellular fluid and is uh, basically present in the extracellular fluid and uh, then um, this is the story of each and every electrolyte now here we have basically highlighted a few substances in which the differences are quite large otherwise there are a lot of substances a lot of substances and we cannot discuss them in detail now that's basically the differences in the constituents of the extracellular and intracellular fluids and a slight idea about how that the differences arises due to the different charge on the proteins and the different ions and how some of the differences between the concentration arises between the plasma and the interstitial fluid and both are the part of the extracellular fluid but still the concentration of some substances are different in the plasma and different in the interstitial fluid now apart from these electrolytes apart from these electrolytes we have a lot of non electrolytes in the plasma as well now if we talk about the non electrolytes we have small amount of bile salts we have small amount of bilirubin we have small amount of creatinine and then um, if we talk about we have small amount of uric acid and uh, then slightly high amount of lactic acid then slightly high higher urea then slightly higher glucose then a lot a large amount of cholesterol and finally a very big number of phospholipid so these bile salts bilirubin creatinine uric acid lactic acid these are the color codes of these substances and they are basically showing the the substances and the uh, which, which are basically the non electrolytes present in the plasma and the the, the 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 basically the graph is showing their quantity as well so these uric acid creatinine bilirubin bile acids are very small in number as compared to the phospholipids cholesterols and uh, neutral fats so they are occupying a big chunk of the a uh, non electrolytes in the plasma and then the uric uric acid creatinine bilirubin and bile acid they occupy a small portion of the non electrolyte portion of the plasma so this is a brief introductory uh, topic uh, a brief introduction 
and discussion about the different constituents of the extracellular and intracellular fluid. Now, as we proceed ahead in this uh, unit about the uh, kidneys and the body fluid we will then uh, discuss that how these different concentrations of different electrolytes are kept like how the concentration of sodium is kept higher in the extracellular fluid and how the concentration of potassium is kept higher in the intracellular fluid similarly we will discuss that how this concentration of the chloride is kept higher on one side and lower on the other side now these things we will discuss slowly and gradually in detail but up till now uh, this much this much is enough thanks a lot for watching the video